Hello guys, welcome back to Comic Book Cafe, and now let's get to the comic book reading. It's a really long title, and that is Green Lantern Corps, Volume 3, Issue 35, God Hand, Act 1, Part 3, Reckoning. A lot to say in one single title, but that is the title of this comic book. Now, of course, this continues from, of course, God Hand, Act Part 1 and Part 2, which basically sets up the fact that the new gods are basically at war with the Lanterns. All the lanterns, because uh, basically, the, you know, they feel uh, a, the war coming on. Obviously, that with Dark Side, that's been building, you know, the new gods and Dark Side for a while, and they want to get through. Of course, you know, the place they can't get to, you know, this great wall they can't get past, and the only way to get past it, they think they can get past it, is by with the lanterns rings, and of course, they want Kyle Rayner who is known as the White Lantern, because he's basically all the, in a sense, every spectrum of the lanterns together, and he's the only one that's powerful enough to go through the barrier. Even though these guys are gods, the new gods are gods, they can't get through the barrier. So that sets up this whole Dark Side's troops are on the move. They want to, like, slow down this from happening. For, they say forestall, which, which in other words, they're only stalling it, and eventually it's going to happen anyway. So they, you know, are basically hunting down the lanterns, taking their rings. That's what's going on. So we start off this book written by what, Van Jensen and artist uh, Bernard Chang. They start off this book in Space Sector 0908. Uh, was it the planet Aeon? A-Y-O-I-N with John Stewart and some lanterns uh, going to investigate what's going on there and they see that the planet has basically uh, basically been just messed up by the new gods. They don't know it at the time but they know that it's been messed up and they eventually come across something with the spectrum readings that you know they had with the new gods so they kind of figured out that you know okay this is the spectrum of every ring clearly who, they don't know they're the new gods but clearly whoever these people were uh, were the ones who were hunting down, you know, lanterns and taking all their rings. And basically, they scan and can't find any of the populace still alive except for this one building. And then uh, one of them comes out, attacks John Stewart, basically. And, uh, you know, they notice that it seems like it's almost being tortured in some way. And John Stewart eventually, you know, beats it. And more come out and their lanterns fight it. And then, new guy, was it Ugaha? Uga? U-G-G-H-A, Ugha, oh, any way you want to pronounce it, U-G-G-H-A, a new god, shows up, saying they're basically putting the populace out of their misery, uh, and, that, and as things go along, you know, basically they're like, you know, we're gods, and this is one of the faults with the new gods in a sense that you're dealing with here, with the, with the difference of morality, the lanterns don't use force unless they have to, the new gods are gods. They don't think they're ever wrong. They, Because they're gods, they have the arrogance and ego to think they're never wrong. And so they go, and they're basically saying, we're taking these people out of their misery. You know, we used all the rings that didn't turn out the way we wanted to, and we're going to just, you know, wipe these people out because, you know, they're being tortured. They're, uh, you know, not what we wanted. So we're going to just wipe them all out. So, and, of course... Ultimately, the, there leads to be a fight between these Green Lanterns and, of course, uh, you know, the new gods on the planet. And it's turning out very badly for the Green Lanterns in this battle. You know, one of the Lanterns gets his arm cut off, the other one's barely alive. Uh, John Stewart uh, ultimately gets them off, gets them able to off the world, and, and he's basically him versus this new god and the troops. He's like, what are you going to do? And he goes, you know, one thing about architects are, before we rebuild... We must destroy the old, and then he brings everything down on the new god, and he, he escapes. So they escaped, still alive, though messed up. And other stuff does happen in this book. New gods do track that Kyle Rayner uh, is still alive, the White Lantern, and then the, the main new god basically teleports to go, you know, meet him, force him, whatever, and that's all you see in this issue is he goes teleport wherever Kyle Rayner's at. So that's all you see in that part. So obviously Kyle Rayner is a big part of this book series. 
he's the main focus of the new gods, and it'll be interesting to see when battle time comes with him, because he's, you know, all the spectrums of the ring, so he's, like, supposed to be the most powerful, and it's kind of likely he can do something as more powerful than the new gods uh, hinted at. They don't say that. Uh, obviously, in this part, uh, it's known that all Hel Helgorn's group that went to, you know, the barrier and fought the new gods, and a lot of them didn't make it. That Hal Jordan, a few of them are, are you know, survived. Uh, and Oa, you know, it's more of a, you know, we're we're going to get all the lanterns together. We're going to go to this place they're not going to like, which they already kind of showed you in the other comic book part two that it'll be, you know, where Sestro's uh, core is that they're going to eventually go. Again, this book's leading to basically where all the, basically ultimately what's leading into this book is where all the 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 green the cores are going to get together rings and that's you know and a big battles slowly breeding between them and the new gods since the new gods are hunting them down uh taking their rings and that's basic of this book is basically you know this book has a lot of action in it this book is not necessarily a, a, you know it's not a slow paced book i actually did like this story in this book i actually did like this book a lot and so uh, it was interesting to see the build up because clearly this is building up to something very big uh, the question you have when you're talking about Dark Side's troops and his people on the move, and the new gods trying to forestall it, is are we building up to the point where we're getting into, like, is this like a a build up of a crossover that builds up to another war with the new gods and Dark Side? But uh, again, right now it's one of those things where it doesn't look good for the Lanterns because they just can't seem to beat the new gods because they're gods, and uh, that's it. What do you think of this book overall? That was a really good a really good build up to the next book wasn't like a really slow paced book or anything which you know a lot of these you know big event books in a sense are really slow and this one was not uh, I liked it a lot so and because there's so many group, lantern groups you know they can just skip from one to the other but this one was mainly just the green lanterns and and the new god so what do you think about this issue did you like it a lot uh, did you not like it what are you hoping what are you hoping out of the God hand, uh, Godhead? What do I keep wanting to call it God hand? It's Godhead. What are you hoping of this whole Godhead thing with the new gods and the lanterns? Anyway, I'd love to hear you guys' comments like always, and I will talk to you guys later to review another comic book.